very happy to have all you guys here, honestly. Um, this is a big, big event for us, um, and even bigger for you guys. Uh, as you know, come from a smaller school, there's not a lot of sc scouting opportunities or even opportunities like this, and that, this is a great opportunity to vision one venue. Um, we were in Allentown, PA, uh, now we're in Miami, so it's definitely a big jump. Um, we've got a great group here. Um, we're mostly too deep at most positions, uh, some three, um, but it's very important. Uh, if you're three, we've got extended quarters, so you will play. So there's going to be a lot of playing time. So uh, it's important this, this week, you know, the guys on your right and your left, and they'll take the second action right now just to introduce yourself, because uh, this is, we're going to be a family this weekend. We punt the football, and we cover that thing. But the most important element after the punt is, when it rolls on the ground, the clock keeps ticking. And as the clock keeps ticking, he has less time to, to line up and make plays to go down to kick a field goal or score a touchdown on the defense, right? Again, he picked up as a free agent or drafted or uh, possibly getting a contract invite from us to our camps. Okay. Anytime we're running outside zone anything, it's 28 29. Okay, it's going to be an 8 9, in and an 8 9. So that's the hole we're hitting. If I'm a receiver, if that ball is coming to me, I'm blocking man on, right? That ball's coming to me. I got to get it. All right, if I'm on the backside, I'm backside cut off on that corner. Okay, that corner's top to come back to play the one yard. I ain't doing it because you're cutting him off. Stuff. If not, play straight up. Okay? Our strong safety is called Satan. Alright, and our Panther is our, our free safety. Okay, it doesn't really matter as far as safety is concerned. You're a defender. But if he gets beat, safe free safeties, you know you have support there. Okay? If one is gone, the X is gone, you can start moving yourself, knock yourself over to the trips. You're bringing week one, strong three. They run three on the vert. Right there, you should have an interception all damn day. Okay, that's a, it's a pick for you. We're baiting the quarterback to throw number three on a vertical because there's no one there to throw it. There's no one there really on support. 32 Will, uh, 434 Will. I mean, it's only one blitz, we got one call. So we're going to be out in the north and we're going to have some, we're going to have some 21 personnel. We're going to have touch. Hey, one more. Hey, one more, one more. This is magic one right here, okay? Magic one is just gonna be simply a, a reverse, okay? Simple reverse right here.
by now, I might look a little different. I'm not in t-shirt and shorts. My name is Mike Corte. Uh, I am the founder and organizer of the National Bowl and East Preps. 18 years in the league, but actually 47 years overall. And uh, it was a great experience and it was a great ride. The most important thing though, that the only thing that gives you the key to open up doors is not the fact that you, that you can do this or you can do that. The big thing is you got your degree. No matter how much football you know or how smart you may think you are, or what kind of a, a public speaker you are, it's a matter of what do you have as a background. As long as you have that degree, you can open up any doors you need to have or everything, any avenue you want to try to walk down or take your, your trip on. Reality. Probably nobody in this room is going to get drafted. That's reality. Is it, is it, is it somebody might get drafted? Yeah, somebody might get drafted. One or two, but the reality is most guys won't get drafted. The most important days in you guys' lives are not the draft. It's the three days after the draft where the NFL teams are trying to fill up their 90-man roster. That's the phone call that we need to get. We need them to say, we want to invite the D2, D3. That's why these scouts are here, because they want to get these guys, these gyms, and put them on their, the 90-man roster and give you an opportunity to make the team. I want to say a few things you heard from a couple of trainees, um, agents, coaches, but I want to give you a player perspective. All right, so how many in here want to go to the NFL? Raise your hand. Let me see you raise your hand. I don't see everybody hands in their raise. Let me see you raise your hand. The number one thing, you got to believe in yourself. So from a player perspective, if you don't believe in yourself, there's no need for you to be here. No need for you to waste your time. So I want everybody to raise your hand again. Who wants to go to the NFL? All right, take that same hand and say, I believe in me. I, believe in I can't hear you. I believe in me. I believe in if you don't believe in you, nobody else is going to believe in you. Want everybody up here is all in. And in order to get to the, to the, to the highest mountain, you got to be all in. I think you see that across the board here. You know, we talk about some big name athletes that we work with, that's great. Um, but I can tell you a conversation I had with Joe Flacco's father the year before he finished at Delaware. His father called me and said, hey, do you think Joe has a shot in the CFL? Straight up. Okay, coming into the process, at this point, his senior year, he was the 18th rated quarterback on the board. You know where he went? Number two. Just signed a $120 million contract. My name is Joe Rollins. I go to McDaniel College. I play running back and returner. Now, the reason why I was most excited about coming to the National Bowl this weekend was because I knew that I was going to get to play against some of the top players in the nation, and I wanted to see how well I can match up against those guys. I'm Mike Stock. I live in St. Louis. Retired from the NFL after uh, 47 years coaching in uh, high school, college, and the pros. Last stop, Green Bay, Wisconsin. Last three years of my uh, experience as a coach, 2006, 7, and 8. And now living happily with my wife and uh, watching over five grandchildren and our children growing up. I'm here for the uh, National Bowl uh, with Michael Forte, who's done a fabulous job of organizi organizing this whole thing to put all these players together here in this great sunshine state. And uh, the big thing about this game is that these guys have a chance to really promote themselves unbelievably well after four years of experience in college to show the pros and the uh, in the world what they're all about small school small school kind of guys but big time operators these guys are professionals already and they're going to show what, what they're worth today 
and they go out and, and express what they have in their hearts and souls about football. It's giving back, and they're doing a heck of a job of it. My name is Vladimir Rock. I play at Mercer's University in Erie, Pennsylvania. I'm a wide receiver. I play also kick return and punt return. What brought me here today, I truly have to say is God. God has blessed me to be here. He gave me an opportunity to play in this game. Also, the other blessing he has blessed me with is to see my family get to see me play. They haven't seen me play since I was a senior in high school. And that's my last collegiate game, and they get to watch me back home. I'm from Florida, and it's truly a blessing to me. Thank you. We bought it! We bought it! My name is Joe Clancy. I go to school at Merrimack College, in Massachusetts. I play quarterback. I came to the National Bowl because it was a great opportunity to play in a prestigious bowl and have the opportunity to play in front of professional scouts. My name is Julian Sonati, number 54. I played for Greensboro College in North Carolina. Uh, what brought me here uh, this weekend is just to really get an opportunity to play with a lot of experienced coaches, a lot of experienced players. Um, I like to uh, I like to take my career playing football a lot further than, uh, than I take it uh, playing in the NCAA level. I like to now go to the next level. My name is Ben Dupree. I attend the Citadel. I play running back, slot, and punt returner. And this game was great for me because it gave me and everybody else here exposure to get to the next level. My name is Darren Elliott, Glenville State College, and I play corner, punt return, and kick return. And what brought me here this weekend is the invitation that I've got from Mike. And what I'm looking most forward to playing is just showing my talents and my showcase to scouts all around the world and playing with different best players, athletes across the world. So there it is there.
Hi, I'm Brian Martin with S3 Sports Academy here at the National Bowl. Came out to support Mike Corte and the team here. Really excited to be here. We prepare guys for the NFL Combine for the last 20 years and really just helping guys to get faster, stronger, and to add all the spokes to the wheel to get them ready for games like this, but then also get them ready for the NFL Combine in Indianapolis. You know, the importance of this game here, you have diamonds yeah, in the rough the everywhere the that are that are looking to get to the next level. They're playing in front of over 11, 11, 12 scouts here. Tremendous opportunity here in South Florida. You know, being at the National Bowl is critical for these guys in their, in their journey to get to the NFL. And we're just proud to be here. S3 is very thankful to be part of the team and you know, wish these guys the best of luck. And we'll do anything we can to help them in the future. My name is Trevor Spaulding, uh, place kicker. My first two years I started at Elmhurst College in Elmhurst, Illinois. And my last two I've started at the University of St. Mary in Leavenworth, Kansas, a four year starter. Um, the thing that I really enjoyed the most about this weekend and really look forward to and will take with me is uh, all the great knowledge that we received from these great coaches. Um, they have a lot of knowledge and a wealth of experience. Um, so that as well as the exposure opportunity to play in front of these guys, to get our names out there and to, uh, to really market ourselves by playing this game. Uh, my name is Mitch Espinoza, uh, quarterback from Ohio Western University, uh, number 15. Uh, what brought me to the, the National Bowl here was uh, my aspirations of, of playing at the next level beyond college and, and the, the scouts and the opportunity the National Bowl uh, brings to that and also playing with uh, this group of guys that are so good, so many All-Americans and uh, such good players. I really wanted to play uh, with this competition and, and against this competition uh, to the best of my abilities. My name is Michael Styles, number 21 for the Red Team. I'm from Warner University, strong safety. And the reason why I'm here is to get an opportunity to play at the next level. I learned a lot from this experience at the National Bowl game. It's a great experience for young, small college students. And I'm very appreciative of having this opportunity. James, University of Delaware, defensive back. What I take most from this weekend is just taking in all the knowledge and the information given from all the coaches and the agents as far as trying to network and just getting exposure out there in front of different teams and different leagues. Paul Shaughnessy, Mount Ida College play slot receiver. The main thing I look forward to the most about this entire weekend is the big opportunity to get exposure in front of all these scouts. There's a bunch of NFL, CFL, arena scouts here. And I think it's a huge opportunity to be able to do this, especially from coming from small schools. Everybody here has mainly been from a small school, and I think it's great for all of us. Um, the other big thing is the coaching. There's some NFL coaches on the staff, as well as arena coaches. So you're getting top tier coaching as well. So I mean, there's nothing more you can ask for. For, in a game like this. Chris Thompson, head coach of the Blue Nation here for the, the fourth annual National Bowl game. Uh, most important thing that these guys are, are getting from being at, at this event uh, most most definitely is the opportunity, uh, the networking, uh, getting you know potentially recruited, scouted by by a number of professional uh, you know, football teams, uh, indoor arena or even uh, outdoor professionals. So it's uh, I mean, these guys, you know, what they learn from it, you know, the, the people that they meet, uh, the opportunity to, to talk with agents, uh, you know, because some of them might potentially uh, need an agent uh, here in, in, in the coming weeks. 
So uh, it's a, it, this is a great event. Uh, we're having a lot of fun as coaches and, and getting a chance to, to work with these players from all over the country. Uh, and, and quite possibly, you know, uh, being an indoor arena football coach, uh, we're also looking for some players as well. So uh, and there might be a couple guys here that, that we may invite uh, into our camp in this March. Real young, number five for Red Nation. I'm from Portland, Oregon. I go to University of St. Mary in Leavenworth, Kansas. The biggest thing for me to come out here to do is um, show you know that NAI guys can play with the best of the best as well, and uh, glorify God the best way I know possible, which is in, with the game of football. So. Campbell played the eighth back position. Uh, I'll be playing on a blue team, Blue Nation this year, number 22. Hybrid tight end, fullback, running back, and also long snap, long snapper. I'll be coming from West Virginia Wesleyan College, a graduate of class of 2012. And, uh, I'm here seeking an opportunity to get a chance to get in front of some scouts, hopefully impress somebody and uh, make somebody's 53 man roster next season. Um, the reason coming out from the National Bowl, you actually get a lot of exposure coming out here. Um, you get to learn, you get to hope. You get to grasp a whole lot of knowledge from the, the meetings we had, the little committee they had last night speaking to us, and uh, you really learn a lot. I just want to uh, say this in closing. We got no more awards for you guys, uh, but coming here, it should be awarded enough. Uh, you guys really honored yourselves, your family, your school, really showed a lot of heart pride. And I mean, you guys played 17 minute quarters of some of the best football, honestly, I've ever seen. Offense, defense, special teams. It was truly awesome. And uh, I just want you guys to take this with you, whether you go to the NFL, show courage. Whether you go to your first job interview, show that courage. You know, whether you get a tryout, show that courage in anything you do, whether you start a family, you know, be courageous. Because all you guys have that. You don't always have the height like me. I wasn't blessed with the height. You don't always have the weight. You don't always have the speed. You don't have any of that. But all you guys have that inside, that heart. So please just keep that on with you, whether it's on the field or off the field. Thank you guys for coming out. And please thank all your families, athletic departments, uncles, cousins, girlfriends, everyone for supporting these guys today. And for, for now, back, and future, present, all of that. Thank you. Thank you. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. All right, we're gonna do National Bowl on three. One, two, three, National Bowl.